Hi everyone, John Cottrell here of Embody Yoga in Salt Lake City. Welcome. This is Power Hour. This is a 60-minute power vinyasa yoga practice. So glad that you're here. So now that you're here and you got your mat rolled out, let me tell you what we're going to be focusing on today. Now I was thinking of one particular pose and it's called head to knee pose and in Sanskrit that's Janu Shirshasana and I'll say a little bit more about that when we get to that actual pose. But then I realized there are some other yoga postures where you actually fold to bring your head down toward your knee. <laughs> so we're going to be doing some postures and that's the name of our class, head to knee poses. Alrighty? So lots of forward folds. All right, here's some props that you might want to use. I've pulled out my yoga strap, because since we are doing some forward folds, that means there's gonna be some hamstring stretching. So you can use a strap, like a yoga strap like this, or a belt, or a jump rope, or even a necktie, something like that that's long, that you can use for your uh, leg stretches. So I'm gonna have that handy. And then some yoga blocks. There's gonna be a particular pose where you may want to bring the floor closer to you. And you can do that with like a stack of blocks or books, something firm. It could even be like the seat of a chair. You might just put a chair just somewhere kind of out in front of your yoga mat and that can work as well. But yoga blocks, great tool to have. That's it, I think, for our props. Grab a towel, some bottled water, and we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and start in mountain pose. So I invite you to stand nice and tall near the top of your mat. For the moment, I'm gonna be facing you. So your feet are about hip distance apart, toes are pointing forward. You just wanna stand nice and tall. Take a moment, maybe you wanna roll your shoulders a few times, just check in to see if there's any tightness in the body. A few deep breaths, in and out. Kind of shake things out a little bit. And then just make your way to stillness. Just standing nice and tall quiet and still, and just focus on your breathing. At first you might take some slow, deep breaths to get reacquainted with your breath. You might breathe in deeply through your nose. You can exhale through your nostrils or out through your mouth if you'd like. Do that one more time. And then just settle into just slow, steady breaths. But breathe in a way where you can still feel your breath and hear the sound of your breath. Just deepening this connection as you move inward. And fuller awareness of your breath as you inhale. You want to feel like your breath is rising upward, like you're pulling it up using the power of the inhale. Fill up your lungs. Then as you exhale, you want to draw your navel in and slightly up towards your spine. So in and up, so it is an engagement of your center body. So again, as you inhale, feeling nice and tall, lengthening through your spine, breath rising, fill up your lungs, very expansive up top. Exhale, draw belly in to engage. Do that a few more times. Very good. Go ahead and take three more breaths in and out as a way to prepare your body to move. When you're ready, inhale and extend your arms all the way up into the air. Reach and stretch. And exhale, we'll fold forward. So we're hinging, hinging at the hips. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Take your time as you make your way down to your first forward fold. And so this is, in a way, a head to knee pose. But you can keep it mild this first time. Inhale, slide your hands up the legs, perhaps to your shins, knees, or thighs to extend your spine so you're flat like a table like this. Then exhale, let's fold again. Now this still can be a partial fold. You don't have to go too deeply since we're just beginning our movements and we're still warming up the body. Here we're just checking in and just finding all those tight spots. Perhaps your low back, head, neck, and shoulders. This is a nice pose to just feel or imagine the weight of pressure and tension that lingers around the head, neck, and shoulders to roll away roll right off of your body. Then go ahead and shift your weight back into your heels, bend your knees, feel like you're sitting down into a low chair behind you. Extend your spine by looking forward. Take your arms out to the side and then stand up, 
all the way, then reach up into the air for a nice stretch. Exhale, bring your arms down by your side. Just hold here for a moment. Take a nice deep breath in and out. That's our half salute to the sun. So let's go ahead and do that one more time. Still just inviting movement to the body, moving with breath. Here we go, inhale, reach all the way up. Treat it like a good stretch, like you're gonna to touch the ceiling. Exhale, let's fold forward, soft knees, making your way down, here we go. Again, a partial fold is fine. Inhale, rise up halfway, or just extend the spine so you don't, don't necessarily need to be parallel to the floor right here. Exhale, back down to our forward fold. Keep it mild as you like. Right away, shift your weight into your heels, bend your knees, take the imaginary seat, look forward to extend spine, spread your wings. Inhale, then stand up all the way. Reach into the air, another nice stretch. Exhale, arms back down by your side. Go ahead and return to stillness. Return to the awareness and feel of your breath. Slow breath in and out. We're gonna go ahead and continue adding on our Sun Salutation Series A. Here we go, inhale, reach into the air. Exhale, fold forward. Each time where we're just warming up the body a little bit more so your forward fold might become a little deeper. Inhale, rise up halfway or extend your spine, long flat back. As you exhale, bend your knees, let the back round to get low enough so you can place your hands on the mat in front of your feet and just start walking or stepping both of your feet back to the back end of your mat until you're in a long straight line plank pose. We'll breathe in. As you exhale, bend your knees a little, then send your hips right up into the air, taking you into downward facing dog. We're gonna hold here for a moment. Feel free to adjust your feet on your mat and then maybe your hands just so you feel steady. We are gonna hold here for a moment. Feel free to pedal the feet. Let's just get into our calves a little bit, adding that length and stretch in the legs. So pedal the feet. So as you inhale, one, the one heel will lift as the other heel presses down. Exhale, press. Inhale as you swap. Exhale, press the heel down towards the floor. Just alternate, just like that. So allow your knees to bend as much as they need to. Your hips might even shift side to side. And just feel what's happening, not only in your calf muscles, but maybe through your toes. Do that one more time each side, and then come back to stillness in downward facing dog. Nice full breath in right here. Exhale, walk, step, or hop. Both feet up to the top of the mat to forward fold. Inhale to extend your spine. Exhale, fold again. Weights in the heels, bend your knees. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Come all the way back up, reach into the air. Exhale, arms down by your side. Now we're gonna keep it moving right away, moving into series B of our sun salutation. Here we go, reaching into the air as you inhale. Exhale, lead with your heart as you fold forward. Take your time, bend your knees. Inhale, rising halfway or just a good extended spine. Exhale, bending, folding enough to bring hands to the ground. Walk or step both of your feet back into plank pose. Let's take a breath in. Exhale, finish your push-up. Bend your elbows, come down and in a long straight line, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, push into the floor to straighten your arms so you feel the chest rising so you can face forward. Your heart is facing forward. Upward facing dog. Exhale onto your toes, lifting knees, then hips into the air. Downward facing dog. A little adjustment. Let's do a quick pedal of both feet. Okay. Maybe two or three on each side just to get into those calf muscles again, and then we'll continue with our flow. Whenever you're ready, inhale, extend right leg up behind you, reaching nice and long, like you're reaching for the wall or maybe the ceiling. Exhale, let's step the right foot near the top of the mat or near right hand. Turn left heel to the floor behind you, so your whole foot back there is on the ground. Extend your torso out over your thighs so it's nice and straight or straight as can be. Inhale, hinge from hips, rising up, reach up into the air, look forward. That's warrior one. Exhale, we're hinging and folding, bringing the hands back down to the ground. Step back into plank pose, bend your elbows, squeeze them in towards your ribs, lower your way down in a straight line. Inhale, push into the ground, lifting chest, look forward. This is a back bend, up dog. Exhale onto your toes, hips to sky, downward facing dog. Settle in. 
Then other side, inhale, extend left leg up, reaching long, strong straight line. Exhale to step this left foot to the top of the mat. Right heel turns to the floor, good grounding back there. Make sure your torso is extended long over the left thigh. Inhale, rising up, facing forward, both arms up into the air, warrior one. Exhale, hinge to fold, bring your hands back down to the ground in front. Let's step back, plank pose, and then lower your way down. Finishing the push-up, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog, nice long legs and pointed toes behind you, face forward. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips nice and high. Let's hold here. A few more breaths. And then take this to the floor. Feel free to bend your knees, kneel down, take a seat. We're gonna sit in the center of the mat, so you wanna swing the legs around to the front here, so you can take your seat in the center. And once you're there, go ahead and roll down onto your back. You're gonna lie down with your knees bent, feet flat on the ground, nice grounding sensation. Even take a few moments here, still focusing on breath, but let the body relax. Just tune again into breath, taking those deep breaths. Each inhale, you fill up your lungs. On the exhale, you can just kind of relax more or even engage the belly. And move into our bridge pose. Here we go. Breathe in fully. Fill up your lungs. Exhale completely, engaging your belly. And then lift your hips away from the ground, right up into the air. And then you're welcome to get your arms and shoulders underneath you if you're able. You can adjust your feet. I like to take my feet a little wider in my bridge pose because it allows more space for me and my hips and low back. So I can actually lift a little higher and I feel a bit more stable. I can even use my arms. You can do this too. Bend your elbows, bend your arms at 90 degrees, press down into the floor with your arms and it seems to help lift the upper body just a little bit more. How about three more breaths? Whenever you're ready, after that third breath, take your time. You just want to wiggle the toes forward a little bit. Then extend both arms up into the air, just making space so we can carefully and slowly roll our way back down to the ground. Let's go ahead and hug knees into chest. Start to rock forward and back. Find your breath. With a good exhale, rock your way up to seated so we can come to boat pose. You want to make sure you have an extended spine. You're sitting up nice and tall, leaning back at an angle. Okay. So you can easily lift the feet off the floor, but you could do this with heels on the ground if you'd like. Still with an angled upper body. But if you can lift the feet, maybe you might want to flex the feet so it energizes the legs. You can hold onto the legs as I am at the moment, or you can release and just kind of reach out. We're gonna breathe in and exhale, maybe cross legs, hands in front of those cross legs, hop or step back plank pose. Take a shortcut here, bend your knees, hips into the sky, downward facing dog. Make the adjustments with feet and hands. Let's continue with the flow. Inhale, extend right leg up, reaching long, straight line. Exhale, step through, right foot to the top of the mat, left heel turns to the ground, feel centered and balanced. Extending torso over thigh, inhale, rise up, warrior one. As you exhale, open, turn your torso towards the left side of the room, bringing arms down to parallel, warrior two. And just lunging here. Nice extension through the arms as we arrive here in our strong warrior two pose. Side angle, reaching forward, angled upper body, rotate the arms here. Right arm perhaps braced on the inner right leg while left hand reaches into the air. Now you, you can really kind of play with where you want to take this pose. You can even go lower and deeper. This right hand can even touch the ground or bring in your stacked blocks or books for a little extra stability if you want that. Let's breathe in right here. Exhale, we're gonna carefully turn towards the floor, fold and bend. Bring hands to the floor, let's step back into plank pose. Draw that straight line, hold for a few moments as the body realigns. Then take your shortcut to down dog. Such, situate yourself there. Then inhale, extend left leg up, reaching long. And exhale, left foot to the top of the mat, right heel turns to the floor. 
Grounded and connected. Long torso out over thigh. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, opening, warrior two. Settling in. Good energized body, very strong. Side angle, reaching forward, angled upper body, rotate the arms. Again, this left hand can come all the way down to the ground or your stacked blocks or modified like I am. And this is where I typically go for this pose. Meanwhile, your right hand's nicely extended up into the air. Reaching in these opposite directions also helps open the front body. Let's breathe in. Exhale, turn, hands back down to the floor. Step back, plank pose. Let's go ahead and finish with a push-up. Finishing the push-up, coming down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Brief pause here. Take a nice full breath in. Exhale, walk, stepper, hop, both feet return to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, extend spine. Fold again. Just notice if you're a little lower and deeper. We're not gonna hold this just yet, we will later. Weights in the heels, bend your knees, inhale, reverse your swan dive. Come all the way up to standing, reaching all the way up. Exhale, arms down by your side. All right, we're still kind of in this warm up mode, okay? Just getting the blood circulating through the body, warming up before we get into some more of these head to knee poses, these forward bends. Let's take tree pose, because one of the postures we're doing is gonna be a hip opener. So tree pose, not only a balancing posture, but I think a nice hip opener. Here we go. Start shifting your weight into your right foot. Press it strongly into the ground so you feel firmly connected. Feel tall here as you inhale, lengthening through the spine, fill up your lungs. Exhale, engage your belly, then peel your left foot off the floor, lifting the knee. Maybe a flexed foot to keep this leg strong. We're taking the knee out to the side there and placing foot on the inside of the standing leg. I usually go to calf level. You can certainly bring it up higher to inner thigh or even lower if you want to where your toes actually touch the ground to help you balance. Once you're in place, go ahead and inhale. Extend both arms up into the air. Reach high. Hold for several breaths. Focusing on something directly in front of you or keep your head and neck in place, but just drop your eyes, just your eyes, and maybe look at the floor or something lower. Make sure you're breathing deeply. Reach high with the arms. Right foot just rooted strongly into the ground. Left knee is just pointing towards the left side of the room. Keep your arms extended. Now go ahead and swing that left knee forward, lifting your knee with a flexed foot. Plant the foot into the ground. Go ahead and bring the arms back down by your side. Give them a little shake. You might just want to roll the shoulders after holding your arms up in the air for that long. Back to mountain pose, balanced on two feet. Secure yourself, then start slowly shifting your weight into left foot, rooted into the floor. Inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, connect to center, navel to spine. Peel the right foot up off the floor, flexing the foot to keep the leg active. If your thigh is parallel to the ground, here's the hip opener, swinging the knee out to the side, placing foot on the inside of the standing leg, high, medium, or low. Torso, hips facing forward. Then inhale, extend both arms up into the air. You can go straight up like that, but for me, that's a little binding in my shoulders. I tend to kind of bring mine out like a V. But a good active reaching sensation that gives a good lifting feeling through the torso, which makes a little bit more space in the waistline, which actually opens the hips a bit more. A couple more breaths. And another inhale and exhale. Let's keep the arms in the air. We'll swing that right knee forward, lifting knee with the flexed foot. Plant the foot down, arms down, give them a shake. There we are. All right, let's get into a flow, making our way back down to the ground. Inhale, reach into the sky. Exhale, lead with heart, fold forward with soft knees. Inhale, lifting up halfway. Exhale, hands to the floor, step or hop back into plank pose. Come down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale into upward facing dog and an exhale, downward facing dog. Keep it in motion, inhale, extend right leg up, reaching long, straight line, reach with good energy through your toes. Exhale, step through, right foot to the top of the mat, landing, left heel plants into the floor, balanced. Extended torso, inhale, rise up, reach up, warrior one. 
and our exhale warrior two just moving and flowing with breath side angle pose reaching out rotate the arms here right hand down left hand up into the air reach high reach low exhale turn hands to the floor step back plank pose come on down chaturanga up dog move and breathe at your own pace if i happen to get a little bit ahead of you with my instructions when you're ready, inhale, extend left leg straight up and back. Reach long. Find the wall behind you or the ceiling. Exhale to step through. Left foot to the top of the mat. Right heel turns into the floor. Long torso so you can hinge from hips rising up. Inhale to warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Side angle. Make it flow. Rotate your arms. Reach high, reach low. Once you're in the posture, inhale. Then exhale to move out of the posture. Turn, hands to the ground. Back to plank pose. Hold plank, straight line. We'll take a shortcut to down dog from here. Now we'll take a seat. So you can hop forward, cross your legs and take a seat or just kneel down and take a seat. Once you're seated, grab your strap and extend your legs. All righty. So we're working towards our first head to knee pose. It's just a seated forward fold. Alrighty, but let's actually begin with staff pose. So nice, strong, straight legs, flex your feet, hands on the ground right by your hips here. So you can actually push into the ground to help extend spine so you're sitting up nice and tall. So you form a nice L shape, a good right angle in the body. We'll hold that for several breaths. If you notice if your shoulders are kind of hunched forward like mine are at the moment, roll the shoulders back. You want to feel and sense that your heart is in front of your shoulders. So you can even take the hands back a little bit or roll the shoulders back. A couple more breaths. And then go ahead and relax. And if you are using a strap or a belt, let's go ahead and wrap it around the soles of the feet. We're gonna help we're going to use that to help guide us into our for forward fold. There we go. So if you kind of tug on the strap, it's going to help you to sit up nice and tall, just like pushing into the floor does that. We're going to inhale, tug, and lift. Exhale, pull belly in. Another tug of the strap, but to pull yourself forward a bit, hinging at the hips. Now, even here, I'm already feeling a hamstring stretch. So I'm going to stay here for a couple more breaths, just in stillness as my body gets used to this initial stretching in the hamstrings. Now if you can go a little further, feel free to do so. Or you can start to bend your knees, perfectly fine to bend your knees, which I'm going to do here. Inhale, get a little bit more extension through the spine. Exhale, tug to help fold. And I can fold a little bit deeper because I've bent the knees. Now if you've got, if you're highly flexible, you can probably fold all the way over and down. And it is okay if your back rounds. Like I said, we're working on head to knee pose. So your head, can you even bring it right down to your knees? If that means bring the, bend the knees even more like this, and maybe touch your forehead toward your knees, that's great. But you don't have to do that. It's really thinking of you're moving your head towards the knees, something like that. But another way to think about this, because bringing your head down to your knees really creates this roundedness and curvature in the spine. You really want to maybe think of this as sending your heart forward out towards your toes in this forward fold fashion. That way the spine stays a little bit longer. All right, two more breaths. All right, we're going to start to rise back up nice and tall. Let's move the strap out of the way here. All right, so make sure you're sitting in the center of your mat. You're gonna lie down once again, because we just did a forward fold. Let's just do one more back bend here. A nice counter pose to that fold. Feet planted into the floor, knees bent, long spine. Inhale, fill up lungs. Exhale, engage belly for support, and then lift away. Lift your hips up into the air. Maybe getting arms and shoulders underneath you as we did before. Bent arms, pressing down into the ground with the elbows to help stabilize and perhaps lift a little higher. So a nice counter position, a back bend and forward folds, kind of opposite in nature. Two more breaths.
then wiggle the toes forward, extend the arms up into the air if they were underneath you, roll your way down. Now we're going to stay on the floor, but you'll need your strap again. If you need to sit up to get it, go ahead and do that, and then lie back down, keep knees bent, feet flat on the ground, but just more relaxed. Let's do another leg extension here and stretch. First, extend the left leg straight out on the floor. Bring right knee in towards chest. Wrap the strap around the foot and extend the leg up into the air. Again, you can keep a softness or a bend in the knee. The, both feet are flexed. The, the one in the sky obviously flexed because of the strap wrapped around it. But you want to inhale and feel like the right heel is reaching for the ceiling while your left heel is reaching towards the front of the room. That's your inhale. The exhale, if you're holding onto the strap, you're just giving that strap a little bit of a, a bit of a tug to send the foot and leg over your head. And just feel that hamstring stretch, which you're welcome to do just as an option. As you're holding the leg in place, engage belly with an exhale. And if you can, lift upper body like you're sending your head up towards your knee. a little bit more active here. Two more breaths. Upper body comes to the floor, bend the right knee, release the strap, and extend the leg out onto the ground. Stay here for a moment so everything settles and realigns. Let's bring left knee in and wrap the strap around the sole of the foot and extend the leg up into the air. Both feet are flexed to keep them active. Left knee can be somewhat soft. Inhale, left heel reaching for ceiling, right heel reaching towards the front of the room. Exhale, a little tug of the strap, and sending the toes over your head towards the wall behind you to initiate that stretch through the hamstrings. You can stay just like this, or if you'd like, Lift upper body as if you're sending your head up and towards the left knee. Just a little bit more active here. Three more breaths. And then lower your upper body. Let's bend the left knee, release the strap. Okay, set that to the side. Go ahead and hug both knees into chest. Rock forward and back, exhaling to make your way to boat pose. Hold, find it. We're gonna keep it moving, breathe in. Exhale, cross legs, hands in front. Hop or step back, plank pose. Take another shortcut to down dog. Bend knees, hips into the sky. Inhale, extend right leg up into the air. Exhale, right foot to the top of the mat. Let's go to a high lunge this time. So left heel stays lifted, all 10 toes pointing forward, extended spine, hinge from hips, rise up, reach up, high lunge. Hold here for a moment, just to find that balance. Inhale, and we'll exhale to open up to warrior two. Let's set it up for triangle. Let's straighten the right leg. Straight as can be, reach out over the right leg and rotate the arms. So triangle pose. More hamstring lengthening. I tend to feel this a little higher up in the leg. We're going to hold here for a couple breaths. We're going to add another hamstring stretch with this in a moment. One more breath in and out. You know, rise up a little bit out of this pose, not too much, just enough so you have some space in the waistline so you can turn your torso and body so you're facing forward. Fold forward out over the straight right leg and maybe it'll just end at parallel. You can reach the hands behind you like this or even place hands on hips. So we're extending torso as long as can be, perhaps parallel to the ground, straight line. But then as you're able, Fold a little deeper, head to knee or towards knee. You can even put a little bend in that right knee if you need to. Now go ahead and bend this right knee a whole lot. Okay, Bring the hands or fingertips to the floor. 
rise up onto tiptoes behind you. So we're in this runner's lunge, but literally, if you're able, literally touch your head, your forehead, to your knee. Can you? Or keep it close, head towards knee. Start shifting your body weight forward into right foot. This is, if your blocks are hand, you can bring your blocks around to the front here. You're shifting weight into front foot, and maybe the hands on blocks in front, until you can actually pick up the left foot behind you. As the left leg lifts into the air, your head is still coming down towards your right knee. Kind of this, it's standing splits. Now my left leg does, is certainly not gonna go all the way up towards the ceiling, but it's certainly off the ground. Bend the left knee that's in the air, bring it in towards chest or chin or forehead. Set that foot down next to the other, you'll be in forward fold. Let's stay in forward fold. With both hands, or with your hands, hold on to the backs of your legs. Shift your weight forward a little bit towards your toes, where you feel like you need to grip your mat with your toes. As you do that, your hamstrings will engage and even feel your hips lifting up into the air. They won't literally move, but feel like your hips are lifting up into the sky. Folding a little bit deeper, head towards knees. Then fingertips to the floor. Re-extend spine for your half forward fold or lengthen spine. Exhale, plant the hands, walk both feet back, plank pose. Let's hold plank just to straighten out the body because that's a lot of folding we just did. Take a shortcut to down dog. Other side. Inhale, extend left leg into the air. Exhale, left foot to the top of the mat. We're going to high lunge. Right heel stays lifted. Hinge and rise up. Now what's kind of nice about this pose, there's kind of a built-in back bend. Okay, with torso straight up and down and that right leg in this case behind you, okay, you, create a, you kind of create this back bend, which is a good counter pose to all those forward folds. Breathe in, exhale, open it now to a warrior two. Let's set it up for triangle, so we're gonna straighten the left leg, reach out over the left leg, Rotate the arms. There we are. Let's hold that for a few breaths, getting into the hamstrings once again on the left side. Breathing deeply. One more breath in and out. If you're deep in this sideways bend, you wanna lift out of it a little bit, giving you space in the waistline so you can actually turn your torso to face this left straight leg, hands on hips here at first, hinging until maybe you're parallel to the ground. Now hands can stay on hips or reach behind you. Stay here, or if you're able, maybe a little softness in the knee, because that'll help to help you fold, bringing head down towards knee. Because of the angle of that right foot and leg, you might get a little bit of a twist effect and a stretch through this right lower back area. Now bend the left knee a whole lot, bringing hands or fingertips to the floor. Rise up onto tiptoes behind you. So maybe in this case the head can touch the knee. Start walking the hands forward, getting weight, more weight and pressure in the left foot. Maybe find those blocks if you'd like. So you can float this right leg up into the air. As the right leg lifts, your head is still low, maybe touching the knee or just close to the knee. Standing splits. Bend the right knee that's in the sky. Bring the knee in towards knee, or sorry, sorry towards your chin. Set the right foot down onto the floor next to the other. You'll be in deep forward fold. Bring your hands behind the legs here, shifting weight forward towards toes. Now here you want to inhale and just find a little bit more extension through the spine as best as you can. 
Exhale, pull belly in and use the hands wrapped around the legs to help draw you down deeper into this forward fold. And maybe here, your head is touching the knees. Shift the weight back into the heels so you can easily tap your toes. No more pressure in the toes. Bend your knees, come down to that low chair-like position, look forward, feel that spinal extension, spread your wings, stand up, take your time, take the arms up into the air. We're gonna hold extended mountain pose. Reach, reach, reach. We need to find that re-lengthening through the spine. You might even alternate a reaching sensation through the arms. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring arms down by your side. Excellent. All righty. So that's a majority of our forward folds. We've got one more. It's, it's easier, but those are the more active ones. Okay. Go ahead and get a sip of water. I'm just going to adjust my mat. Make sure you got those blocks up near the top of your mat. That should help you with those standing splits, put postures. Okay. Just in case your hands can't make it to the floor, use your stack blocks or bring in that seat of the chair. Okay, mountain pose. Nice and tall here. Roll your shoulders back. Feel nicely lengthened through the spine. Here we go. Inhale, reach into the sky. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, monkey pose or long extension through spine. Exhale, hands to the floor, walk or step both feet back, plank pose. Go ahead and come down this time, chaturanga. Inhale, up dogs. So we can get a good back bend in place here. That feels good. Exhale, downward facing dog. And down dog, even though it's an upside down position, it's a good posture to re-extend the spine. Hands pressed into the floor, hips lifting into the air. We are gonna take a seat. So you can just kneel down to take your seat or hop forward, cross your legs and take a seat. Extend both legs out front. Let's come back to staff pose. So straight, straight legs, flexed feet hands on the floor by your hips, push into the ground, extend spine, be sure to roll your shoulders back, heart opened, face forward, neck nice and long, couple breaths. Now we are moving into that pose I talked about at the beginning of practice, the true head to knee pose, or Janu Shirshasana. Okay, go ahead and relax. You might wanna use your strap, you don't have to, but you can use your strap for this because it is another forward fold. We're gonna bend the left knee, bring this left foot to the inner right thigh or somewhere along the leg. If you can bring it to inner thigh, bring it there. Adjust your seat so you just feel really secure on the ground. Right leg straight out front, flex foot. I'm gonna use a strap for this. Go ahead and wrap the strap around the front foot. <clears throat> Inhale just to sit up tall. Exhale, a little tug of the strap to fold forward. Okay, head to knee pose, or Janu Shirshasana. Now Janu is knee, that was knee in Sanskrit. Janu, Shirsha, Shirsha is your head. So Janu Shirshasana. So it really means knee and head pose. So a nice forward fold here. But that same sensation, rather than trying to bring your head literally down to your knee, your sheer shah down to your janu, <laughs> send your heart forward out toward your toes, just to keep a little bit more extension through the spine. And this is that another nice hamstring stretch. Two more breaths. It feels really good. Okay, rise back up. Nice and tall. You remove the strap. All right, let's come to boat pose before we do the other side. You might wanna lean back, bend the right knee, bringing the foot down, lift this left knee so it meets the other like this, maybe reset yourself, lean back so you can get the feet in the air. Boat pose, let's hold that for several breaths. <clears throat> Two more. Go ahead and bring the heels to the ground, re-extend the legs, quickly come back to staff pose, lifting up through the spine, long straight legs. Okay, soften, we'll bend the right knee, bring right foot to the inner 
left thigh. Resit yourself. You just want to get the sits bones, okay, or sitting bones. There's actually some bones right in the buttocks there, and you can they're kind of like plugs, and you'll you'll feel them, and you just want to get them solid and secure and balanced on the ground. I'm not going to use the strap for this side. I'm just going to use my hands on the ground. So I'm just going to inhale to lift up nice and tall. Exhale, kind of crawl forward with the hands hinging forward out over this left leg. So Janu Shirshasana, second side or heart out towards toes. For me, not only do I feel the hamstring stretch, but some stretching and lengthening through the back. If you can reach your foot with one hand or two, you can do that if you're not using the strap. So we're holding some of these postures, especially these forward folds, a little longer so we, our bodies can take advantage or take the opportunity here to lengthen, stretch, release. About three more breaths. Make your way back up, nice and tall. Re-extend the spine back to boat pose. Let's start by bending the left knee. Right knee comes up to meet. Resit so you can get those sits bones plugged into the ground. Lean back, lift feet. Here we are. Couple breaths. Inhale, we're gonna move. Exhale, cross legs, hands in front. Hop or step back, plank pose. Straight line, chaturanga. Up dog for the back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Exhaling, walk, step, or hop. Both feet up to the top of the mat. Inhale to extend spine. Exhale, fold. We're not going to hold this one. Weights in the heels, bend your knees. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Come up, reach up. Maybe a little extra hold and extend mountain pose. Reach high. Exhale, arms down by your side. Very good. All right, let's start building our sequence. I think we've got all the poses that I wanted to incorporate, all of our head to knee poses. We're gonna start in mountain and take it into tree pose, okay? So, so when we did our Janu Shirshasana, the foot was like this, it was much, much like tree. That's why I wanted to do tree pose. All right, here we go. Shift weight into right foot, lifting left foot, swing the knee out to the left side, Placing foot on the inside of the standing leg. Inhale, reach up into the air. Get nice and tall. Feel, feel the torso lift, opening the hip a little bit more. Left knee pointing to the left side of the room a bit more. Let's keep arms extended. Turn left knee forward, lifting knee, flexed foot. Plant the foot. Once it's planted, inhale, reach higher, both arms. Exhale, fold forward. So you can come all the way down. Even if you have to bend the knees more so your head is coming towards knees, or looking, or even looking between the knees. Inhale, re-extend spine, nice and long. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step both feet back, plank pose. Come down, chaturanga. Let's get into this back bend. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, extend right leg up into the air. Right foot to the top of the mat. Warrior one. Exhale, opening warrior two. Side angle pose. Reaching out, rotate the arms. Inhale, reach high and low. Exhale, turn, hands to the floor. We're gonna return to down dog. So sweep the right foot back and up into the air, reach long. Right foot returns to the top of the mat, high lunge. Left heel stays lifted, find your center. Float your way up, high lunge. Hold for a second. Open, warrior two. Set up for triangle, straighten the right leg, reach out over right leg, rotate the arms. We're gonna take this to pyramid. So pyramid was that pose where we lift a little bit, turn torso towards front leg, and then fold. Hands to hips, head towards knee. Pyramid. Bend the right knee. And maybe your forehead or nose even touches the knee. Hands come to the ground. Rise up onto tiptoes 
behind you. Keep shifting the weight forward. Walk your hands forward towards blocks until you can easily float the left leg into the air. Head or nose is still touching or close to the right knee as you move into standing splits variation. I say variation because the hands can stay on the ground for this. Bend the left knee, bring it in towards chest, rounding the spine, set the foot down next to the other forward fold. Deep forward fold, head towards knees, then re-extend spine. Fold, weights in the heels, bend your knees, inhale, reverse your swan dive, grow tall, reach up into the air. Exhale, arms down by your side, immediately start shifting weight into the left foot, press. Inhale, lengthen spine, get tall. Exhale, draw belly in. We're going to tree, so lift the right foot. Swing right knee off to right side. Foot to the inner leg. Inhale, re-extend your arms up into the air. Good lift, torso rising for the hip opener. Keep arms extended. Swing right knee forward, lifting knee flexed foot. Plant the foot. Once it's planted, inhale, reach high both arms. Exhale, swan dive. All the way down. Knee, head towards knees. Shift weight towards toes, that might help. Inhale, extend spine. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back, plank pose, come down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. There's our back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're on to the other side now. Inhale, left leg into the air, straight and strong. Exhale, left foot to the top of the mat, right heel plants into the floor, extended torso out over thigh, inhale, float up, warrior one. Exhale, opening, warrior two. Let's take it right away to side angle. Left hand down, right hand up. Inhale, still in motion. Exhale, turn both hands to the floor, take it back to down dog. So left foot sweeps back and up into the air, downward facing dog, leg, left leg extended into the sky. And then left foot returns to the top of the mat for high lunge. Right heel stays lifted, all 10 toes pointing forward. Extended torso, so to hinge your way up, high lunge. Opening warrior two. Straighten the right leg, I'm sorry, straighten the left leg. Ready for triangle. Hold here for a couple breaths, triangle pose. And we get ready for pyramid. We're turning the torso towards this front leg. Place hands on hips. Hinge. You can soften this left knee a little bit. That might help. Come to parallel or go lower than parallel. Head towards knee. Pyramid. Bend the left knee so your, maybe your nose touches the knee. Hands to the floor. Rise up on tiptoes behind you. Keep stepping hands forward. Catch those blocks. Weight shift forward enough where the right leg and foot just easily floats up into the air. Head, meanwhile, still coming down towards left knee, standing splits. Bend the right knee, bring it in towards chest, rounding the spine. Set the foot down next to the other. Deep forward fold. You can hold on to both legs with the arms. Weight shift towards toes, hips high, head low. Weights in the heels a little bit, just extend spine, hands to the floor, step both feet back, plank pose, re-lengthen the entire body in plank. Take a shortcut to down dog. Take another opportunity to extend spine in this pose. We're taking a seat, if you can, hop forward, cross legs, take a seat, stay seated, extend both legs out front, quick staff pose. Left knee bends, left foot to the inner right leg. Resit. Inhale, extend both arms up if you can. Exhale, hinge out over right leg, Janu Shirshasana. You can go ahead and grab that strap again if you want, or just fold as best as you can out over this right leg. Just a couple breaths here, we're not staying here long. We're rising back up, nice re-extended spine. Start to gently lean back. We're bending the right knee. Left knee comes in to meet it, boat pose. Inhale, 
Exhale, set heels on the ground, re-extend legs. Quick staff pose, nice and tall. Janu Shirshasana, other side. So bend right knee, right foot to the inner left leg. Resit if you need to. Inhale, extend both arms up into the air. Exhale, hinge, fold out over left leg. Janu Shirshasana. Three more breaths. Use your hands to help press and lift yourself back up until you're nice and tall. Lengthen spine, start to lean back. One more boat pose, bend the left knee. Right knee comes in to meet. Lean back enough to lift feet. Boat. A few more breaths. Lengthen spine. Now if you can, point your toes, extend the legs. For this version of boat, Bend the knees, set the heels onto the floor. Extend the legs out front. Good, sit in the center of your mat. And go ahead and roll down onto your back. Once you're down on your back, let's take one more bridge pose. Just to counter to all those forward folds. Whenever you're ready, knees bent, feet flat on the floor. A good exhale to lift hips away from the ground. Use your arms to help support if you need to. Good lift, nice opening. Two more breaths. Wiggle toes forward, extend arms straight up, roll your way down. Hug both knees into chest. Take a happy baby pose here, so legs go wide. Feet go up into the air, of course, knees are bent here. Just to release low back and hips. I like to add a little bit of a slow rocking sensation left and right to help massage the low back. Or you can just hold it in place. A couple more breaths here. Okay, let's take reclining cobbler's pose. Bring the soles of the feet together so they touch, but just set the feet onto the floor. So the soles of the feet are touching, but they're on the ground. It's a little bit more relaxed here. So several breaths for this hip opener. Three more breaths on with this pose. And you might bring the knees together, give yourself another hug, a gentle hug. But we'll take this into a twist. Let's we'll start by taking both knees over to the left side. Open your upper body or extend your right arm off to the right side. Again, a little bit more relief for the low back after all those forward folds. We did a, some back bends to help counter that, but twists are also a nice piece to add. Now you're also welcome to add any other pose as we kind of come to the final moments of our practice together. You could add these twists or any other additional postures if you'd like. Let's go ahead and take two more breaths on this side. Return to center when you're ready. Pause and center so everything has a chance to realign. And then knees over to the right side. Extend left arm to the left.
two more breaths. When you're ready, return to center. And then extend both legs out in front of you onto the ground for Shavasana. And of course, your arms are also relaxed down by your side. Just feel and allow your body to melt into the ground. Eyes can remain opened or feel free to close your eyes as you take your journey inward for your silent meditation. Feel free to stay here as long as you'd like. Even as I end the practice, you're welcome just to stay in this nice relaxing pose. to move. Start with five slow, deep breaths. Just starting to re-energize the body, slowly and gently. Gradually allowing movement to return to the body. Sometime after your fifth breath, there's certainly no rush to move. You might roll onto either side of your body, or feel free to stay right where you are, lying flat on your back. Come to this nurturing pose. Hold for a few moments if you'd like. Still moving very slowly and guide your way up to seated. Find a comfortable seat, maybe sitting on a pillow or a blanket if you like. Feel the nice re-extension of your spine. Sitting up tall, shoulders relaxed and arms relaxed, hands just resting in your lap. Find your breath. And then one more movement together. Let's inhale, extend the arms out and up, reaching into the air, nice big stretch. Exhale, bring your palms together and down to your heart. Once here, just find stillness and your breath. And as we come to the close of this portion of our journey together, we bow saying, Namaste.